Before we get into like anything crazy, I just want to say that feelings are a part of the human experience. Regardless of how hard you and I try, it will be impossible for us to cease having an emotional reaction to things, okay? I think feelings are a wonderful addition to what we call living. I think they help us make sense of things. I think they also help us retain memories. We may not remember all the small details of said memory, but we remember how someone or something made us feel and felt, okay? Now, I'm also the biggest advocate for therapy as well. However, these things being said, the world doesn't necessarily care about your feelings. Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Matthew Rockefeller. And today, what we're talking about is why it's so important for us men to have emotional control, okay? It's important for us to have emotional control with our girlfriends and our wives and leading them and holding masculine frame. It's important at our job and how we handle and cope with stress. And it's important with our naysayers and our enemies to create the persona that regardless of what you say, you cannot fuck with me and you can't get in my head, okay? All right, so how do we do this? How do we start implementing these ideas into our life? Well, I got you, I'll tell you. So what you do, y'all, is every time Time you make a decision you always take the most logical and sensible path okay so ask yourself before you're about to make a decision is this in alignment with my goals if the answer is yes then good you've got your answer you do it if your answer is no then good you've got your answer you don't do it if your answer is well Matthew like I don't have any goals well there you go you have probably found the biggest problem of your life at the moment you don't have a direction but that's for another video so take that decision implement that into your life so when I started to understand that like my feelings and my emotions didn't have the power to change my life and it especially didn't have the power to change the world around me, I stopped caring less and less about how I felt about certain topics and started focusing on more about what needed to be done in my life regardless. So when you start to control your emotions, what you'll understand is that worry about your feelings when it's done. Like focus on your feelings when you're finished, when the goal is complete. When you go in with that mindset, this that mindset doesn't stop you from having like emotions or like an emotional reaction. Like I still get happy, I still get sad. What it does, however, doesn't allow your emotional state to dictate what you do. So regardless of how you feel, you still know what needs to be done. Often more times than not, people who like let their hurt feelings get in the way of what, what needs to be done, all it does is just make that person end up with more hurt feelings. What I've come to the realization is that these two qualities that I'm about to list will determine your life on this planet. It's your self-discipline and it's your self-control. Your ability to do something when you don't want to do it is what is going to make all the difference in the world, okay? So your self-discipline is, you know, doing things that need to be done and your self-control is the respect you put on yourself to pre prevent yourself from jeopardizing your progress. You have self-control about yourself, okay? This is a topic for another video, but I'm gonna teach y'all how to handle a level of stress that would kill most people. Your ability to handle the realm of stress that would break most people will 100% make you successful on this planet. But for now, guys, my last final words is, you know, laziness feels good now, hard work feels good later. I love y'all, hope y'all having a great day wherever you're at, I'm out of here. Deuces.